All right. Shalom, shalom. All right. Uh, before I get started, as usual, want to give all praises, all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Harakakwadash. Double honors to the other apostles, great millstone, rule and teach well, and who I learn from uh, daily. Also, uh, you know, in their fruit as well. Excuse me. Uh, the, the men of the Lord scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, you know, teaching the same, all right, putting out beautiful uh, epistles, lessons, and going on the highways and byways, all right? And all of this is uh, inspired and motivated by the Holy Spirit of Yahweh Bashmael Shah, okay? All right? <clears throat> so, um, in, um, to the families of the men of the Lord, all right, uh, wish your shalom on, okay? May you have a shot, you know, uh, brock of thumb, you know, the uh, the men of the Lord <clears throat> and their, their households, their immediate households, the ones that's actually um, um, submitting themselves, you know, under the order, prescribed order of Yahweh Bashma Osha and righteousness. All right, so, um, Lord willing, you know, Lord willing, um, we almost out of here. Lord willing, 2024 is the year, you know, um, deemed by Elder Apostle Tahar. He deemed this year the hopeful year of Jacob's trouble, okay? And, oh, man, this this year been way better than any other year, <laughs> you know? It's just, it's, it's been major, 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 okay? So we know uh, uh, this is it. And let me tell you this, it's so major, uh, people are talking about certain things at work. I don't I don't get into the conversation, but people be talking about, um, you know, what's going on in the Red Sea, mostly Edomites. I don't I watch the, uh, I don't watch the Edomite talk to um, a Jake, you know, um, but Jake didn't even care. Jake, they was, uh, Jake was talking about what, um, uh, some football team, you know, but then the, the topic switched, you know, and they started talking about uh, the Red Sea and what's going on uh, with the U.S. and the U.K. and the Houthis, you know, so I was, um, you know, I'm a janitor, so I was just cleaning and listening, but I'm like, wow, you know, so even um, heathens and pe like people of the world, it's it, they even, you know, they're showing what concern and they even paying attention, all right? Because it's, no it's no longer conspiracy. It's no longer conspiracy is, is in your face. Like, your life is changing drastically. Everybody feel it, all right? But um, just a quick, quick, quick uh, lesson, you know? And uh, I try to purposely make them quick. That way, Jake, you know, Jake can learn... Lord, Lord willing, you know, learn something or motivate or inspire you. You know, it's like a, I guess, an appetizer, spiritual appetizer, something just quick for you to snack on, to feed your spirit, you know, and go, uh, you know, go ahead on with your day. All right. So this Acts, Acts chapter 7 to 48, which we can get, gain a lot of understanding from these couple of verses. All right. But we're going to prove we're going to prove how Christi Christians, all right, who descend from the Roman Catholic Church, the false prophet, we're going to prove how uh, um, they have no understanding of the scriptures, you know, because they, they teach tr the Trinity, you know, and um, this this scripture that we're about to read on further down is going to prove what? It's going to prove that the Trinity don't make sense. That's not in the Bible, Okay. Acts, Acts 7 and 48. How bet the Most High dwell of night in temples <clears throat> made with hands as of the prophet. All right. So, uh, um, in, you know, the first, uh, the first and second temple, which were literal uh, buildings for us, the Israelites. All right. Um, that was for what? You know, for us to make atonement for our sins and the Levites, the priests, uh, to do their job for the whole nation of Israel, all right? You know, so that was a, um, a earthling uh, a temple, a building, you know, 
and also we had the, uh, the Ark of the Covenant, okay? <clears throat> you know, uh, but now Yahweh Shah, okay, he's the mediator. Now Yahweh Shah connects us directly to Yahweh, okay? All right, so now, uh, and also, but I'm, I'm gonna speak on this account. I'm gonna speak on this account. You know, I'm kind of, kind of touching on it a little bit, but I'm gonna speak on it. Uh, focus on it at camp, okay? Because Christians don't understand that third temple is the elect, the chosen. All right, the hundred and forty-four thousand within the one third. All right, that innumerable number. You can't number them. All right, you can't number the elect. All right, the chosen. All right, which is that what that third temple. Okay. So, uh, um, and they they don't understand. Christians don't understand why was the temple built? What was the purpose of having a temple? All right? You know, so it was mainly for what? The, re the remission of sins, all right? And also, uh, like I said, you know, the, um, the Levites, you know, was the priests, you know, and they was the only ones that can go into the Holy of Holies, you know? Uh, uh, but now, you know, um, that form, uh, now we don't have to, what? We don't have to sacrifice animals, okay, for, our, for uh, to make atone for our sins, you know, because blood is what make atone for the sins, all right? You know, but uh, Yahweh Shah, he was that what? That lamb without blemish, that ultimate sacrifice that took away all of our, uh, the whole nation of Israel, all right, that is, you know, their sins. All right, but only the elect is going to be saved in these end times, all right, because they're going to actually repent, all right, repent and be converted back to Yahweh Shemel Shah. Two thirds of our people, they're going to continue to live in their sin and, and uh, uh, suffer the consequences, all right, but the uh, two thirds, they're going to be born back into the kingdom as babies through sex, through being fruitful and multiply. Oh, see, it's like you. Let me uh, check and see if we're still going. All right, we're still going. It's lucky. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't looking at my phone. I'm just looking uh, out the window and just flowing in the spirit. But um, all right, so yeah, you know, two thirds of our people they're gonna be born back into the kingdom through being fruitful and multiplying. Six. That's what the, that's what fruitful and multiply mean. Having sex, okay? So, um, you know, and they're going to be perfect. When two-thirds born back in the kingdom, you know, they're going to get their new bodies. All right, we're going to be some some healthy, super humans. <laughs> All right, perfect. You know, the law, statutes, commandments going to be put in our what? Inward parts. All right? Just like how uh, computers have their program to work a certain way and they have their algorithms and all that, you know? So the Israelites, we're just gonna be automatic, righteous, perfect in the kingdom, never to sin, all right? So we're not gonna need um, a literal temple, all right? We're not gonna uh, need a literal temple. It's not gonna be, um, we're not gonna be sacrificing for our sins uh, in the kingdom of heaven, okay? All right, you know, and uh, um, if I can remember, I believe um, Elder Apostle Tahar, he, he went in on that, okay? He went in on that, all right? Um, yeah, I believe I watched the whole video, all right? So you can, you can he went, he, 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 he went in better on that uh, topic, all right? And uh, Salaki, I forgot which video he did, it's recent. It's recent. I, I saw this probably like yesterday or the day before yesterday. Okay. So, hmm. let's read. It says, um, Heaven is my throne and the earth is my footstool. What house will you build me, except the Lord, or what is the place of my rest? Have not my hand made all these things? All right. Verse 51, Acts 7 and 51. Ye stiff necked and uncircumcised in heart, and ears, ye do always resist the Holy Spirit as your fathers did, so do ye. All right, so that's how two two thirds 
of our people. That's how they are. And that's how it's, it's no uh, history repeats itself. It's no new thing under the sun. They're the same fucking way. All right. So it says, um, which of the prophets have not your fathers persecuted and they have slain them with shoe before of the coming of the just one of whom ye have been now the betrayers and murderers. All right. So, and that's what, that's another thing Christians never did understand, you know, the, uh, uh you know, the true Christians, cause the disciples was called, uh, that first in Antioch. Okay. So, um, I think that's Acts the 17th chapter, but I'm a, uh, Lord will not remember to get it. All right. But you got what Christians don't understand was the disciples. All right. You know, the, uh, the, the believers, they never was liked. All right. They never was liked. All right. Um, you know, the, the men of the Lord was always hated. Okay. And all the, uh, uh, all the disciples. Okay. Um, and the, uh, apostles. All right. And prophets was men. Okay. Was men. All right. So we know ne you never had a woman disciple uh, and women that uh, are permitted to teach. OK, it's not their um, it's not their lot to what to 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 teach men and to to um, to teach a nation of people. All right. That's not what they was uh, put on this earth to do. OK. So it says um, who have received the law by the disposition of angels and the word angels means messengers. And have not kept it, okay. All right, you know, cause the um, uh, the you know, like I said, the word angels mean messenger, okay. So and that's you know that's exactly what the prophets of Yahweh by Shemal Shah, beginning with the elder apostles, great millstone down to the least of us, that's what we are. We're messengers, all right. You know, the Lord what He speaks through His prophets, the men, all right. <clears throat> you know, uh, it's also written in, in, in the book of Acts, uh, further down. Um, if this was of men, it would surely come to naught, okay? I think it's in Acts the fifth chapter. All right, so this, 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 uh, uh, ministry is not of men. You know, you can't make this up. We didn't make this up, all right? <clears throat> This is through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shemal Shah. And, and, and the, uh, you know, the powers that be, they know that we're the true 12 tribes of Israel, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. They understand we're the 12 tribes of Israel. Okay? So prophecy is being fulfilled. The world is finding out, you know, down the Bible Israel, you know, because cause the world, what? They thought the Bible was just another book one of the uh another book in the library or whatever you know <clears throat> something you just pick up and turn the pages you know and our people one thing about our people if they don't see no pictures in the book they're gonna they're gonna close it and put it back on the shelf you know but um it says when they heard these things they were cut to the heart and they gnashed on him with their teeth so they was going in on Stephen, you know, prop that, you know, cussing them out. All right. They didn't have English back then, but I'm pretty sure they was cussing them out, you know, in, uh, uh, in Hebrew, you know, or Greek. They was going in on them, you know. So it says, um, but he being full of the Holy Spirit looked up steadfastly into heaven and saw the glory of Yahweh and Yahweh shot standing on the right hand of Yahweh. So that's a cut right there to Christians. All right. Like people truly don't sit back and meditate on what Christians be saying. If you listen to a Christian, you're going to find yourself in a mental institution. You're going to find yourself in a, uh, you're going to find yourself looking like Nebuchadnezzar eating grass. All right. So listen to a Christian they truly don't make sense <laughs> truly you know and the way you shut it down 
you 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 get them to hey prove it you get them to go into the bible and try to prove it oh man it's it's like a it's like a a puppy all alone in the rain freezing cold and the negatives it's just it's a pitiful sight you know cuz christians truly don't know what they're talking about and then when you um test their their bible when you test their bible IQ they they really, they they get so emotional and just you know it get crazy all right so it says um and and said behold i see the heavens open and the son of man standing on the right hand of god all right of yahweh okay so that proves that uh uh that the most high and his only begotten son they're not one person they're on they're uh on, what they're like-minded okay you know so uh yahweh shah is on the same page and yahweh shah he agrees with everything yahweh say and think and does okay so that you know they're in it to win it so to speak okay so um but they're not literally the same person all right anybody that say uh you know that the they say it like this they say the god uh the son and the holy spirit it, it, you know they they believe in the tr the trinity which the trinity is not in the bible that's a lie and this proves that that's a lie okay so it says um and said behold i see the heavens open and the son of man standing on the right hand of yahweh then they cried out with a loud voice and stopped their ears and ran up upon him with one accord and cast him out of the city and stoned him with the witnesses laid down with their clothes at a young man's feet whose name was Saul. And they stoned Stephen, ca calling upon Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, and saying, Lord Yahweh Shai, receive my spirit. And he kneeled down and cried with a loud voice, Lord, I lay not this sin to their charge. And when he had said this, he fell asleep. Okay? So, man, that's... Whew, that'll really get you emotional. You know? That'll really get you emotional. You know? Like that, uh... Well, it's a meme. It's a meme with the father crying. I, uh, man, I forgot. The father, you know, but... Um, I was trying to slide that lid, um, that meme in, but that's you know that's how that's how you feel reading this, you know, because this actually happened. All right, everything written a fourth time was written for our learning. Okay, so you know every time I read about Stephen, you know, keep it real, it make you want to cry, you know. Now, you know you're not gonna cry in front of people and whatever like that, but you do get all uh, emotional you know so uh that'll be it on that all right so yeah we still rolling 1833 so with that one to end it and give all praises and glory and honor to yahweh by Hashem, yahweh shah by Hashem, all right double honors to the old apostles great millstone ruling teach well and uh, to the men of the Lord doing the same, teaching the same, mighty shalom, to the families of the men of the Lord, wish your shalom.